What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We're here with some more NFL preseason DFS picks and lineup advice for DraftKings and FanDuel. This time for the Friday three-game slate preseason week three. Just a couple more slates left. Welcome. I'm Brian Jester, co-founder here at Occupy Fantasy. In this video, I'm going to give you one or two plays at each position that are going to be in our core plays, our top plays for tonight. And I'll give you playing time expectations for starters for all six teams on the slate. Uh, let's jump into it. Let's not waste any time. So let's start with this playing time expectation for every team on the slate. I think the most important one will be Jacksonville. Trevor Lawrence and the starters are expected to play up to a half of football. Doug Peterson, their head coach, has been pretty forthcoming and pretty accurate in his predictions when it comes to predicting how long starters will play. And he's been uh, it's been easy to identify his trends. He plays his starters in different amounts each game throughout the preseason, and it really doesn't change that much. So we can expect basically a half a football for Trevor Lawrence, half a football for Travis Etienne, and not maybe not a half for Etienne. Uh, last year in preseason week three, when the Jags played their starters, Etienne only played 28% of the snaps, but uh, a quarter or a little more than a quarter of a starting running back, a top four a top round, top four round uh, running back in redraft and best ball leagues. It's going to be good enough on a three-game uh, preseason DFS slate. It means a half of football for Gabe Davis and Brian Thomas, their rookie. Now, Christian Kirk is out with a calf injury. We expect Parker Washington to step into the slot role for them, so those three guys. Uh, and then a tight end, Evan Ingram. We get a half of football or a quarter and a half uh, from one of the best tight ends in the league compared to some of these other guys we would consider rostering. All these guys are very low-risk plays for tonight. Now, again, we do have the potential playing time downside for starters. If they're efficient or a couple of them get hit pretty hard, let's pull these guys, let's get them ready for the regular season. That is always popular, uh, possible. So there are possibilities, and I'm always fearful of this when playing starters in preseason DFS. They can always play less. These other guys, these backups, they can always play more. So that's the that's the one issue with playing starters in preseason DFS. But I'm not going to fault anyone for playing Trevor Lawrence in any of these guys in your low-risk contest tonight. Their opponent, Atlanta, uh, their coaching staff came over from the Rams, and they're following the Rams' uh Model to a T, not playing anyone that starts, anyone that is remotely important. So we will not see Kirk Cousins. We will not even see Michael Penix, their first round draft pick. It's going to be Taylor Heineke and John Paddock once again tonight. For Miami, uh, they're not playing any starters, basically. So no Tua. We'll get Mike White and Skylar Thompson for this entire game. Uh, we probably won't get HM, Mostert, definitely not Tyreek, Jalen Waddle. So Miami playing all of their backups as well. Tampa Bay, uh, Baker Mayfield and the starters are supposed to play some. If we look at trends and we read between the lines of what the coaches are saying, it doesn't sound like more than a quarter for Baker Mayfield, if that. Uh, and we'll talk about their backup quarterback situation once we get to the top place here in a second. Uh, San Francisco, Brock Purdy is going to play some. We'll likely see all four quarterbacks play. If not, we'll see three, but Purdy, roughly a quarter, we would imagine. Uh, and then for Vegas, opposite of what they did preseason weeks one and week two, where Gardner Minshew and Aiden O'Connell were battling it out for the starting quarterback job. And they played a quarter each in those games, roughly. Uh, neither one will play tonight. Minshew was named the starter, but even O'Connell is not going to play tonight. So it'll just be Carter Bradley and Nathan Peterman tonight. They said anyone who's locked into a starting role, roster spot, will not play tonight. So lots of backups for the Raiders. All right, let's move on and talk about top play at each position. I'll give you one or two per position, and uh, and we'll go from there. But I will say, tonight, preseason week three, we saw it last night a little bit, that pregame news is going to be ultra important tonight and for every slate in preseason week three. This is our daily plug, OccupyFantasy.com. We only had two updates last night. They were relatively important, though. Now, if we look at the 6-12 update, Carson Wentz is out, so that, that left Chris Oladokun as a top play. Obviously didn't get there. Uh, but the Chicago running back situation with Roshan Johnson and Khalil Herbert out, that bumped up Travis Homer, Ian Wheeler, and Bayless Jones. We were higher on the first two, uh, but Bayless Jones still got a half of work. So knowing these important updates in our daily plug and our Discord uh, is going to be vital because the top plays now may not necessarily be the top plays uh, by 7 p.m. Eastern. All right, let's go back. Quarterback. So we talked about Trevor Lawrence. Obviously, he's a great play. The other one is for Tampa Bay, Kyle Trask. Now, if Baker Mayfield only plays a quarter as expected, John Wolford is dealing with an injury. He sounds more doubtful than questionable to play in this game. 
And reporters and coaches have said, if Walford cannot go, Trask is going to get the rest of the game. So we get basically three-plus quarters of action from a quarterback. I know a lot of you have PTSD from playing Kyle Trask in previous preseason DFS lights. I totally understand. But we get a guy who can play three-quarters of action. Uh, they're going to be high on the priority list in preseason DFS. And Trask is no different. We will have to get pregame confirmation that Walford is out. Now, if Walford's in, Trask just becomes an average play, roughly in line with these other guys on the slate who will play a half a quarter and a half. So, again, monitor pregame warm-ups. If he's not, Trask is probably the top play on the slate, even with Trevor Lawrence playing up to a half. Uh, running backs. This is another situation where we'll have to monitor because the Miami running back situation is one that we have to target tonight. They're going to be extremely thin. Uh, Raheem Mostert, Devon Chan will not play with the starters, as the starters will not play tonight. Salman Ahmed, who we were excited to play, was doing pretty well in practice returning from injury. They waived him. Not playing. So he's out. Chris Brooks is in the concussion protocol. Was in line to smash last week before, unfortunately, he was injured. He's probably not going to play. Now, Miami's reporting isn't the best during the week. It is pretty good pregame. But during the week, not that great. So this is a chance that Brooks suits up. We don't know. Um, so they have Jeff Wilson, the veteran. They have Jalen Wright, the rookie, who's electric. Both these guys should play a ton. However, for you fan duel players, they also signed Anthony McFarlane. He's a Terp. He should get some decent run in this game, too, especially if they don't want to run Jeff Wilson into the ground or they think Jalen Wright is too important. We'll have to monitor warm-ups. But there's probably only going to be a max of three Miami running backs active tonight. Uh, and that is, in, in a great offense, all three are good players. That's a situation we have to monitor. For right now, we think it's going to be Jalen Wright. But again, that's not going to matter what, what it means right now. This is just a situation to monitor. So by 6.30, we'll know who the top play is at running back. It'll be for Miami, uh, but we won't know until then. So we'll, we'll leave a spot open in our daily plug. Leave a spot open in your lineups uh, and just check our Discord, check our daily plug for the updates to see who emerges from this group as the top play. Sticking with Miami, their top play likely will have to monitor pregame warmups. That's the theme of the slate. Eric Azukama who, if we look at our target dashboard, OccupyFantasy.com, just comes with your membership. We saw Eric Azukama, seven targets last week, 73 air yards, and he is expected to play, quote-unquote, a ton tonight because, like the running back room, they are pretty thin at receiver. Now, they have like 40 listed here on DraftKings, so let's talk about it. Tyreek Hill and Waddle will not play. Odell Beckham still not playing. Barrios, important number three receiver, he probably will not play. Craycraft is injured. Willie Sneed is on injured reserve. And if we look at trends, that's going to be... Uh, Azukama, it's going to be Malik Washington. It would be Braylon Sanders, but he's dealing with an injury. He's also out, so it's probably Kyrick McGowan. Azukama actually has been productive in preseason in the past. He's been highlighted by reporters. He fits into our playing time trends on our Snap dashboard. However, he limped off at practice Wednesday afternoon. No real reports on if he's good or not. So let's monitor warm-ups. If he's out there and he looks like he's fine, we'll play Azukama as our number one overall receiver tonight. If he's out, it super bumps up. Malik Washington, and Kyrie McGowan. So, Miami reporters, fingers crossed, do your job tonight pregame. They've, they've done pretty good so far through two weeks, but let's just, please, let's get some news. It's going to impact the slate dramatically tonight. Uh, and finally, a tight end. It's, it's Evan Ingram, right? Half, roughly, a football of a top fantasy tight end. Evan Ingram, easy play tonight. Let's put him in there. If you're looking for a differentiator, John Fitzpatrick played 91% of the snaps last week. Now, he's not the uh, this prolific pass catcher by any means, but you get a tight end who's going to play the entire game, roughly. And again, this falls in lines with what this coaching staff did when they were with the Los Angeles Rams, playing a tight end, a ton of snaps in preseason games. John Fitzpatrick, great pivot away from Evan Ingram, especially if you're playing Atlanta quarterbacks. And um, if you're playing Kyle Trask, Devin Culp, he returned to practice Thursday, has been getting a lot of targets so far in the preseason. Let's just look it up really quickly so I can show you guys. If we look at tight ends across the league, let's see if we find Devin Culp. Yeah, four targets in preseason week one. And we just type his name in here. It's a nice thing about this. Three targets, so seven targets through two weeks for Devin Culp. Uh, 66 air yards, pretty good for a tight end. Uh, so great correlation with Kyle Trask if you're not going the Evan Ingram route. So to recap, Jag starters are playing a half. Miami running backs, we have to target. We just don't know who they're going to be yet. Eric Ezekama, top play, as well as the Jags wide receivers, assuming Ezekama is healthy enough to go. And then, again, Evan Ingram, tight end. So lots of Jags tonight. Uh, if you like what you saw here and you want to get those updates, you want to get all of our full rankings, you want to get playing time no notes for every single player on the slate, 
and you want to read our daily plug, occupyfantasy.com, or you want to access those Target and Snap dashboards that I showed on screen, as little as $7 a week. Become a member, occupyfantasy.com. We would love to have you. Join our Discord, occupyfantasy.com slash Discord. Uh, you can chat with us, get those updates, ask us questions, sweat the games out with us. Again, here's last night's top plays, stacks, single game, and showdown rankings, lineup strategy notes, as well as the playing time information for every team. Can't get more in-depth info in preseason DFS than this at OccupyFantasy.com. Now, if you're the type that just watched the free videos, we understand. We love you. Probably 90% of you do that. We appreciate you. We wouldn't have a channel without you. And this is why we do it for you guys. If you want to show your support in some way, click subscribe. It's free to do. The red button here, whether it's on mobile or it's on TV or it's on your phone or on desktop, click subscribe. You'll get notified whenever we go live or upload these videos. We'll do a live stream tomorrow for the Saturday early games as well as a video for the Sunday games as well. Plus, I do these showdown videos every single showdown slate during the regular season. The uh, the Island Monday and Thursday games, you won't want to miss those. Regular season is here just a couple of weeks away. So subscribing is the best way to get notified of our content. And give us a thumbs up. Those are the free, easy ways to support the channel. So that'll do it for this video. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Uh, if you have any predictions, drop a comment below. Uh, but if not... We'll see you in Discord. We'll see you in the daily plug updates because we will be expecting them later today. Good luck tonight.